Hello, this is Anjad Al-Mandalawi from Baghdad, Iraq, showing the second part of notes on diagnostic angiography. This is a diagnostic angiography of the left coronary system in RIO codal projection. It shows the critical lesions in the LED diagonal and the large OM, but it also shows the slow flow in both arteries, especially the LED and the OM. In the view before, the flow was normal or near normal despite the tight lesions. This is a picranial view that was done two views before the last one. And these are both views side by side. We can appreciate the slow flow in the second view. So what happened? The explanation can be found in the view in between. It shows a significant air embolism. This case emphasizes the importance of paying attention to the injection system, the manifold, the syringe, etc. The embolism occurred at our site, but in other cases it may not be visible and may occur while flushing the system. The patient had a transient chest pain and hypotension that resolved in a minute. So the message would be that careful attention to the flush system. Although this session is not about anomalous coronary arteries, but here, here is one advice. Whenever you find difficulty in finding one artery, don't take long, go right away to the other one. In this case, the left system could not be engaged. Injection into the RCA showed anomalous origin of the left system. This is a strange example. In other cases, you can see the left main stem arising from the right sinus of Valsalva. This is another example where the operator struggled to find the RCA. It turned out to be arising near the left main stem. So the message that you have to be prepared for anomalous arteries. Another important thing is to be familiar with the normal courses of all arteries and the branches. This is particularly important when there is a missing vessel or total occlusion. This case shows AP codal view of the left coronary artery. This is the circumflex, this is the OM, this is the large diagonal, and this what appears this what appears to be the LID. The same case in AP cranial view, we can see a subtotal occlusion of the proximal LID, and the operator thought that this is an easy case for PCI. However, retrograde injection into the right coronary artery in the same cranial view shows a retrograde flow to a vessel taking the course of the LID, indicating a total occlusion. Well, a vessel with a subtotal occlusion, like this one, can also have a retrograde flow. But, be, but by view of both injections, shows that the retrograde vessel is not the same as the integrade one, indicating a total occlusion. Also, in the anti-grade injection, there is some visualization at the, near the apex. So, this is the course of the LED starting here with subtotal occlusion. This is the proximal LED, and it ends up with a large diagonal. But the actual course of the LED is here. This is particularly become more important when doing primary P PCI because there will not be there will be no flow whether integrate or retrograde. In this case of anterior MI with total occlusion of the LID, a large thrombus burden is found. There is no integrated nor retrograde flow. Here we can see this is the circ and the course of the LID should be here and there is no vessel in this in this view. The operator passed a wire and did balloon dotering 
and now the course of the vessel is shown. Here he is trying to position a stent, direct stenting, starting from the osseum of the LID. This is a spider view. The result of the stenting shows another vessel appearing, which is the proper LID. This is it. And the stent was actually deployed in the diagonal. The cranial view shows that the stent from the LID into the diagonal and this is the proper course, this is the LID. In this case, the operator managed to wire and distend the proper LID, and this is the result. In another example, there is also a total occlusion of the LID. This is the circ, this is the ramus, and the LID is totally occluded. A wire pass into what the operator thought to be the LID. Most operators prefer to do direct stenting during primary PCI to avoid a lot of manipulation of the plaque and the thrombus. So a direct stenting was then a surprise was seen. The stent this time was in a large septal branch. Fortunately, the operator managed to wire the proper LID and distenting it. So a lesson during primary PCI is that if the course of the vessel is not clear, do not go for direct stenting. What is this retrograde flow? This angiogram shows the LID to be proximally diseased with total occlusion of the mid LID with calcification. The left circumflex start here and end up with a large diagonal with intermediate lesion. The same patient in the AP cranial view shows a totally occluded LID. We expect the course of the LID to pass here. RCA injection in cranial view shows a retrograde flow to a vessel that seems to take the course of the expected LID. But if you focus and concentrate, you can see that the LID calcification this calcification do not move with the vessel. So we need another view. And this is the RAO view. Usually in this view, the LED course is going to be here in a retrograde flow, but we cannot see it at this view. And actually, the retrograde vessel that we have seen in the cranial view is passing here. and it seems to be related to the left circumflex because it's passing in the AV groove. Reassessing the left injection, we can realize that the circ is actually having total occlusion here. A second case, is a little bit tricky. This is the AP cranial view of the left system, shows the LID, there is a critical lesion, a large diagonal we can see with total occlusion, and there is epsilateral flow, and there is no problem with this diagonal. And uh, we can see retrograde injection to the RCA. The AP caudal view shows mid-total occlusion of the circumflex with faint integrative flow. And although the injection is not prolonged, we can see at the end the flow to the RCA. This is the circ and this is the flow comes here to the RCA. Injection of the right coronary artery does not show any total occlusion or subtotal occlusion. This is the LIO view of the RCA. This is a cranial view of the RCA injection. It shows a retrograde flow to the left system, which coincide with the area of the left circumflex that is also totally occluded. But there is no occlusion of the RCA nor its branches, the PDA or the PLV. 
This image shows the course of the circumflex and the LID. When we put both cranial views from the left and the right system side by side, we can see that the retrograde vessel do, does not coincide with the proper RCA. This is the retrograde. If you, con if you focus on it, it does not coincide with the RCA that is not totally occluded. Comparing the RA of you of the both injections, the left and the right system, proves that the vessel is most likely an RV branch that is totally occluded. So this is the left system. This, this is the vessel we are talking about. And here, if we see the RCA, there is no big RV branch. And the course of that left is coming here. And probably, and most likely, the ostium or the total occlusion, it's at the site of this plaque. And there is no stem in it. So we repeat the message that we have to be familiar with the courses of all arteries and the branches. And thank you.